Alright, what's up guys, Andrew here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best trample steam locations in Die Rad Zombies. These are used to jump from skyscraper to skyscraper, or to jump, like, to a place where you can't jump back. For example, the MC Escher room, or the roof right here. And speaking of the roof, that's the first place where this trample steam is best used. You just place it right on the edge, and you can jump back. This is good, because you don't have to go all the way around through the Galvanuckle elevator shaft, through the AN-94, and you don't have to wait to catch an elevator, which is a big help. Um, there's about six of these locations, so I'm going to show you the next one. Now, this next one, it is pretty easy. It can launch you all the way from this room near the box, all the way onto the roof, right where the corner spot is, where the perk is, where the box spawns, right there where you can see. But you have to place it right on the edge where I place it, and then when you jump on it, you can make it, and it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty snazzy, although that's my word, I mean. I don't know, but you just jump on it, and right there you get the edge. Unfortunately, you do have to open a couple doors, which is pretty bad. And, I mean, but, of course, you're going to have to open eventually, so why not do it now? This next one is the MC Escher room, or the China room, as a lot of people call it. And you just place it right at the edge there, and you can basically just run onto it, and it'll fling you up here. It's pretty good, because, I mean, if you're camping or running the train here, and you're like, oh, I need AN-94 ammo, you go and you get AN-94 ammo. So, right there, it's pretty good use. This next place is just to get to where the big elevator is. If you want to camp in the low rounds, place your trample steam at the edge, and you just launch yourself over there. And then once you launch yourself over there, you can camp in the elevator. If it's already down, make sure it's down, not up. Or if it is up, just don't fall off into the massive abyss. Um, that's pretty good. This next one can be used to get into the box area. A lot of people don't know this, and my next video is actually going to be a way to jump into the box area from uh, without the trample steam. So you're just going to want to run onto the trample steam, and right there, you are in the box area. You can hit the box, get a ray gun. I actually think I do get a ray gun, but it doesn't actually show it. Oh, wait, never mind. I run off. I thought I did. That must have been a different game. And now this next one, you can use it to jump from here into the MP5 building. Now, you're not going to want to place it right at the edge, but a bit before the edge, because if you do place it in the wrong area, you will die. It happened to me. I got this on my second try, luckily. Um, so you're just going to want to run onto here, and right there, you are in the room next to the MP5. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you enjoy the rest of my videos. Alright, guys, I'm Andrew, and I'm out.